The 2020 season didn't end the way the Texans were hoping, but with a new year comes new goals and a new regime. Tell me about the Texans search right now. Texans are interviewing, everybody reacts to it. We've got a head coach and a general manager opening here. Texans will be hiring Nick go? Casario. I think this is a great hire by the Houston Texans football team because Nick Casario knows it all. I'm excited. Be ready to go. Yeah, it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. This is one of the most qualified front office employees in football. Our goal is to build a program that centers on being selfless, willingly accepting challenges, which we unquestionably will face and have faced and will continue to face each day. Always put the team above yourself. Others before self, team before I. That will be the mindset and that will be the expectation for everybody that walks into the building on a daily basis. Following the hire of general manager Nick Casario, the Texans shifted focus to finding the franchise's fourth head coach. We didn't want to just rush into anything. We weren't going to make any sort of knee-jerk decisions or reactions and not let you know some other things factor into our decision-making mechanism. I think the initial round of interviews was just to try to get to know the individual, not so much on an X and O basis, but just as a person, what they're about, what they believe in, what's their philosophy, how do they handle certain situations, and just kind of have an idea of what their background may or may not have been. Not to oversimplify it, but communication, honesty, being able to message the team on a consistent basis, you know, in the building, out of the building. So some of the attributes, again, everybody sometimes gets caught up in the X and O component, and there's different models and different ways to put it together, like what you're concerned about or what your focus is. There's no one-size-fits-all way to do this. Um, I'd say it took a lot of work and a lot of effort, and ultimately we just try to make the best decision that we thought was appropriate for the organization. Texans expected to hire David Culley as their next head coach. I'm excited to see a hire like this. He's been in the NFL as a coach for 27 years. I'm extremely excited for him. You wait this long to become a head coach. He deserves it. It's his energy, his honesty, his, I'd say his juice level. I mean, it's, he's very, he has an infectious personality and he is who he is. When you see that pattern of behavior repeat itself over a, a period of time, that resonates. So you have somebody look at it and say, okay, you know, I can trust this guy. Like he is who he is. He's going to be consistent and just his mentality. So my point is, I mean, that's as good as it gets. And I remember, did I, did I ever tell you a story? I hosted him on his visit when I was at Vanderbilt. For real? I hosted him. I was, I was his host. He's had an expertise relative to coaching technique and coaching fundamentals at his position, right? So the more time you spend around him, the more you realize there's a lot of depth there. I, I can't wait to work with you on so many things. Yeah. Good. Cannot wait. Good. Okay. Good. Well, we're also looking forward to tomorrow. Yes, we are. And uh, having a fun press conference yes. and everything. Uh -huh. And we got something for you to wear for your uh, thank you your jacket for yes, tomorrow. Yes, yes, uh, wear it proudly. <laughs> <laughs> wear it proudly. Yes, good. Can't wait. It'll be awesome. Can't wait till tomorrow. It'll be fun. You know, It'll be fun day. Official, Chris. official Texans now. <laughs> All right, first time on the red carpet here, huh? Always wonder if watching the Academy Awards what it was like to walk the red carpet. Now I kind of feel just like walking on regular carpet. It is with great pleasure and it gives me great honor to introduce David Culley, head coach of the Houston Texans. If you think I'm excited and happy to be here, just look at my face. It is an honor and a privilege to be a part of this organization because of this family. It feels great because you know what, when you're putting pen to paper, it means it's official and it's real. Been waiting on this a long time. Yeah, I was elated. It's hard to describe, but I know those guys that have gone on and got in the position that I'm in right now, they know how I feel. That go way back when, that drive way back when, and says, you know what that formula is. You've seen it work. And whenever that opportunity ever comes up, I'm going to be ready for it. There's such a passion in this league when you coach for what you do that you know that when that opportunity comes that you're able to release that and be able to do what we're doing right now. So I'm not surprised that I'm here right now. I expect it to be here right now. And just so blessed that the McNairs saw that in me and Nick saw that in me to be able to give me this opportunity. For head coach David Culley, it's an opportunity that's been a long time in the making. With 27 years of NFL coaching experience, 
Coach Cully was able to learn from some of the NFL's best. I saw how Andy Reid did things, the consistency, the focus, and how we brought that franchise together as one. I realized then that I'd love to be able to sit in that seat because I love what he did. I love the way he went about it. I started to feel like that's what I am. And I felt like that I had learned all the things that I need to from him. And as I moved on, as I went to Buffalo with Sean McDermott and I came to Baltimore with John Harbaugh, who had been there and done that, he reassured me that at some point, David, you know you can do this. I says, Coach, I felt that way for a little while. This is a new year. This is a new start. What we're getting ready to do now will have nothing to do with what happened in the past. We're going forward right now to do the things that we need to do to be the best franchise that we can be. Well, I'm looking forward to making sure that this building and everybody in this building understands that it's all about us. With that one goal in mind is to be a Super Bowl champion. Everybody in this building, from whatever position you are, you're all important. We walk in this building with pride. We walk in this building knowing that where we're going and what that goal is, it's going to be reachable when we all get to that point where you understand. And, and I'll tell you this, when you see me in this building or when I see you in this building, the one thing I'll always say to you is this, just remember, it's always about us. It's never about me. It's never about you. It's about the Houston Texans. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.